Well, hello and welcome to ESPN's live and exclusive coverage of the RBS Six Nations. Game one, just a few short moments away. Wales taking on England at Millennium Stadium, a packed Millennium Stadium. The roof is uh, closed. It's around 11 degrees and raining currently in Cardiff. And joining me to talk about this game and all of the ESPN coverage of the RBS Six Nations is the voice of rugby. Welcome along to ESPN, Gordon Bray. Great to be here, Russ. This is just a, a wonderful occasion. It's going to be a real tinderbox, and I think it's going to be ignited. There's going to be so much passion there. But the great thing about this Six Nations is that it's, it's history and it's pride. It goes right back to England and Scotland, first meeting in 1871. And I reckon uh, a man who didn't play any uh, Six Nations games, but probably deep down with his uh, uh, English background, perhaps would have liked to have maybe fronted up once or twice in a Six Nations. Matthew Burke, welcome along. Rusty, you're giving away secrets there, man. No, no, <laughs> yes. it, it is, uh, it's fantastic. Because, because everyone jumps on board, uh, we were just commenting before about the people, that the droves that go down there. Uh, the players are excited about it, and as we uh, mentioned before, 2003 for England, 2008 was the last time that Wales won anything. So... Lots of pressure on everyone to, to perform tonight, and uh, it's going to be great to watch. Well, let's take a look at uh, round one of the RBS Six Nations. Obviously, Wales taking on England at Millennium Stadium. That's the game that we're going to be watching very, very shortly. And then the double header tomorrow. Italy at home to Ireland in Rome, and France taking on Scotland. Perhaps one of the dark horses of the competition all round. Uh, the obvious uh, particular uh, aspect of this particular game, Gordon, is getting off to a good start. Uh, very hard to win this championship if you lose your first game. Yeah, well, if you go uh, to Millennium, and it's something everyone should do um, mm -hmm. in their in their lives, go to Millennium Stadium and, and just experience, Berkey, the, the singing of the crowd. You're yeah. basically going to have a, a massed 60,000 strong Welsh choir. Well, have but a look at the head-to-head. Uh, -head. Obviously, it's uh, well and truly uh, even in terms of what they're doing there. Yeah, well, if you go right through the history, I think it's 53 wins and 54 between the two countries. So there's just really nothing between them. It's a, a fantastic rivalry. And although the Welsh are underdogs in this game, um, they are absolutely primed to end their losing record. Berkey, uh, the England side, you're very close to a couple of their uh, players, including Johnny Wilkinson, who finds himself on the bench. Where will this game be won and lost from the England perspective? I think to start with, Rusty, up, up front, there, there's nothing like the contest of the Six Nations. So the front rowers uh, have to be pretty strong. Andrew Sheridan, we've seen so much talk about you know, the hookers uh, through here, Hartley being... Uh, I suppose a little bit of sledging has come into the game mm -hmm. in, the, in the lead up of it, but 9 and 10, Ben Young's, Toby Flood, I think they control the game at 9 and 10. They'll control the, uh, the outcome of the, um, of the game today. Wales haven't won at home for uh, something like seven matches. Uh, Warren Gatlin's under enormous pressure, Wales themselves under enormous pressure, and they haven't had a Grand Slam win for some time. Yes, well Wales came in uh, under Gatland after the last World Cup and won the Grand Slam in his first year. Mm -hmm. And they've really struggled since then, Russ, and I think what they're trying to do is recreate that environment and they're looking for more aggression from their forward pack and they've, they've certainly got some very big guys there. Andy Powell has been playing exceptionally well for Wasps at number eight but they have lost their two Lions front rowers so that's going to be critical. Okay the RBS player to watch in this opening game between Wales and England is Shane Williams. He's one of the more flamboyant wingers in modern rugby. Has a try scoring record uh, second only to David Campisi and uh, unfortunately has decided this week to come out and make some outlandish statements. Boys, uh, has he got the game to back it up? Well, he certainly does, Rusty, and, and he doesn't fit the mould of what wingers are these days. You know, he's only he's a small man in comparison to some of the other guys. If we see Matt Banahan come on the field, he's about 6'6", six, six, Shane Williams, but he's electric. He's, uh, he's got great skills. You'll see him get his hand on the ball as much as possible. So he steps into first receiver on phase play, and as you see here, he's, he's around the base of the ruck, he's around trying to distribute and, uh, and put people into gaps. But he's certainly a flyer and we'll, um, we'll certainly see a lot of him tonight. For me, uh, he's a modern day Campo um, mm. and he's the second try scorer to Campo as well. But this will be his last international against England and he's on home territory. He has one more international to go against Ireland, then he retires. So he's a legend. Just quickly, the pressure on Martin Johnson, he's been told by the RFU, one, two finish in the Six Nations where he may not make the World Cup. Mm. Do you need that? That's incredible, isn't it? Very, very tough start, absolutely. We're going to take a short break here. You're watching ESPN's live and exclusive coverage of RBS Six Nations. We'll take a break, come back to Millennium Stadium after this.
Some of the uh, pictures coming in from uh, Millennium Stadium as we welcome you back to ESPN's live and exclusive coverage of the RBS Six Nations Game 1. Wales taking on England. Uh, Gordon Bray, Matthew Burke alongside myself, Russell Barwick for the entire tournament. And just looking at some of the characters uh, in and around the ground. Uh, Gordon, you've been there, so to you, Berkey. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience? Yeah, they literally spill Berkey onto the... Onto the Stadium. This is a wonderful amphitheatre. I would say this is the best rugby venue in the world, particularly with the roof closed and you're going to have all the singing. They're going through Delilah at the moment. The Tom and Jones it's an classic. amazing <laughs> atmosphere. Interesting enough, Gordon, the, the picture there of the, of the ground, it actually looks quite good. We've seen so many times it's been quite a sandy deck uh, and quite difficult to play on, but it looks like they've, um, they've got it ready for the well, first it, game. I think it will still be a problem with the root system, with this because it's all grown on, on pallets that are only about four or five metres square, the grass. Mm -hmm. So the scrummaging is always a bit of a problem at the Millennium Stadium. Given the crowd and given the uh, Welsh fanaticism about rugby union, as particularly, how important then is it uh, for the English to make a great start? They were difficult, terrific against the Wallabies, but then poor against South Africa. Mm. I think, Berkey, I'm, I'm sure every Wallaby side has gone out there and said, we've got to silence the crowd, yeah. and you do that in the first 20. That's your, fir that's your first point of, of trying to get across the, the guys in the scarlet. So if you, if, you can get, if you can get that situation where you're physical enough to, to shut them down a bit, then you can start to play the game. But outside of that, I mean, they'll, get, they'll be coming out so pumped, ready to, ready to go. The history, the lead-up, the niggle that's been happening during the week. There has been a bit of that, hasn't oh, plenty. And, and Jonathan Davies, the former champion Welsh player, has said, bring it on. We should be doing this, especially against the England number two Hartley. Oh, absolutely. And, and what he's saying is that because it's a pressure on the line, he can't throw perhaps all that well. Um, and, you know, do they do the first throw at six and make it even more difficult? I mean, you're, for a hooker, they want to throw it at two, nice and easy, get some good, clean ball. Um, play on, I reckon. I mean, that, that's a whole the whole psych of being able to get over someone, he's just having a little chat on the way through as well, maybe out in the field too. Mm. There's a lot of uh, emotion uh, here that is going to be spilling over. Um, it's like an inferno. If you look at the, the Welsh side, seven or eight of their guys are, are British lines. The England team has two lines in their lineup, but only one man has experienced a win at the Millennium Stadium. That's the captain, Mike Tyndall. And he won't be popular with the Welsh, but he's going to marry the granddaughter of the Princess of Wales. <laughs> and many are saying, how did he get the job at whatever age he is as the captain of the England, yeah. England team in a World Cup year? Is this uh, back to the future? Is this something they should be looking towards? Well, it's interesting. There's another name there called Joe Worsley, and uh, who's played for a while. Is it going back to choosing his mates, as in, as in Martin Johnson? Mm -hmm. uh, you got, got There's a guy called Tom Palmer, who's an upcoming player who's outstanding. I mean, do you get get the younger guys through? It's, that, it's the generation again. Do you... Use someone who has done, uh, got a World Cup, and, and be able to tick the box. Are they thinking both coaches World Cup, or right now are they thinking Six Nations? No, I think this is the uh, this is the, the the three quarter line that England wants. They they do have a few injuries. There's three or four guys that are out, but Tyndall is the one person who has had the World Cup experience. He was in that winning side in 2003, so he is there as the man to calm the younger ones down. Okay. If you're looking to have a little wee investment in this particular match, in any particular match, well, sportingbet.com.au is the website to go to. And uh, the odds as they stand at the moment, England, not surprisingly, favourites uh, at $1.55, Wales at around the $2.45 mark. And three and a half start, the Welsh, you can get all sorts of options regarding first try score, a half-time, full-time options. Gentlemen, I, I, I like the odd investment in something like a game of football. <laughs> If they're only getting three and a half start, the Welsh, if they get off to a nice start, $2.45 looks rather inviting. Gordon, yourself? Yeah, yeah look, I, I must say um, I'm favouring the Welsh in this game. Um, they have had an abysmal record of late, but they've lost to New Zealand three times, uh, South Africa twice, Australia once. A very embarrassing draw against Fiji. Fiji. That was the one that would have knocked them but around But I think we saw enough against Australia, um, and I think they will be primed, absolutely primed for this occasion tonight. And they do have their best back line in with uh, Roberts and Davies in the three-quarter line. So that matchup uh, of the, the, the two centre pairings, mm. the, the, the halves, and you've got uh, guys in the back three, Berkey, who want a counter-attack. Oh, they'll have a go. Um, for mine, number 21, Wilkinson will come on with seven to go and kick a field goal. <laughs> well, see, see, I'm thinking Wilkinson's like your baseball closer. He yeah. comes on, as you say, seven minutes to go and just says, give me the ball, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that we get over the line. That's put how you, you win World Cups. Put you in the right, Put yeah. you in the right spot, pick the corners, Make it difficult for Wales to get out, and then you're right. Snap Here we have a, a little bit of what is going on at the moment <laughs> at Millennium Stadium. Now, I'm not sure whether that guy is the official conductor or is just 
self-appointed. <laughs> but Delilah's getting another run. Uh, it's, it's something to behold, the atmosphere. We're well, waiting a- for the players to come out. In fact, they're just about to head onto the field shortly, so we'll get to live pitches. Berkey, just quickly, you think England by... A- England by three. OK, and Gordon is tipping Wales, also in a close one. Promises to be a fabulous affair, the opening game of the RBS Six Nations. And, of course, we can uh, continue our coverage right throughout this tournament with Italy and uh, Italy and Ireland tomorrow morning and, of course, also France and Scotland in the other game. So every game live and exclusive across uh, the next six weeks and you'll be here with me right the way through. Some it's late gonna, nights. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing journey. But um, as I say, um, this is very much about history. It's about national pride and culture. And the fact that they all hate each other uh, certainly adds to the mix. <laughs> How important, Berkey, in the build-up to a World Cup, you've played in winning World Cup sides. When do you, in your own mind as a player, start to think about World Cup? Are you getting ahead of yourself, talking about now, thinking, I just want to be right for the World Cup? No, not at all. I think if, if, if you save yourself for us, you, you, you fall apart. So this Six Nations is going to be very strong and, and very important for, for all the teams taking part because, they, one, they're going to work out the combinations, Gordon, as you said before. Uh, two, they're just going to maybe filter out a few, um, I suppose, uh, teething problems if it's, if it's getting around the park in terms of their, their strategies and their, and their, uh, and their, and their plays. Uh, it's going to be very important for them to, to do well in this, to get themselves across the line to uh, look for, um, for New Zealand. But there will also be players in this side, in both sides, saying, I've got to do something here because I... Otherwise, I won't make the World Cup squad because that's, in effect, they've got their domestic competition, the Heineken Cup and the various ones throughout the season. But this is the way to put their hand up and say, I want to be part of New Zealand. There's, that's definitely the case. But uh, there's, there's no doubt that 100% focus is on the moment now. And I think with this, uh, this England forward pack, um, they'll be looking to really put it on the, uh, on the Welsh scrum. Wales having lost their two British Lions props. They've got two good replacements there. England, on the other hand, have lost um, Laws. They've lost their captain, Moody. Um, so they're going to be really struggling in the line-out. They've had to replace three line-out jumpers. So the set pieces are going to be absolutely critical. A couple of boys uh, watching very closely in Melbourne at the moment uh, with the Melbourne Rebels, Danny Cipriani and Gareth Delve, both uh, on one side of the couch, perhaps watching uh, the ESPN coverage. Hello to uh, both Danny and Gareth. Uh, of course, Gareth played for Wales, Danny played for uh, England. Mm-hmm. Uh, would either of those guys still be thinking World Cup? I know that Gareth Delve, speaking with him recently, he's still thinking that he's coming to play in the Super 15 to increase his rugby and perhaps give himself his best chance of playing in the World Cup. Well, interesting enough, they chose Wilkinson because of that fact of, uh, of not being overseas, overseas players. OK, we've got the anthems happening now. Let's go straight to Millennium Stadium for live and exclusive coverage of the uh, match between Wales and England. There's the coach, Martin Johnson, uh, just having a, a look at... Uh, they're obviously very intense, singing the national anthem. Our apologies. We don't have the audio for this uh, right at the moment, but we're working on that right now as the England team get uh, very much fired up. Uh, Gordon, take us through what... what is a respectful clap from the Welsh, but I don't think that they're really all that interested. They want to sing their own. Well, they've been warring, haven't they? We're going to go live to Millennium Stadium very, very shortly for the uh, opening game of the RBS Six Nations, Wales, England. And, of course, tomorrow it'll be... Uh, Italy taking on Ireland and then France and Scotland in the final game. So let's go to Millennium Stadium for Game 1, Wales and England. Good evening and welcome to the Six Nations of 2011. Friday night at the Millennium Stadium, the visitors Mike Tyndall's England. The stage is set for some showdown, Wales against England. The build-up has been bruising, it's even been spiteful. But there's no Gethin Jenkins and Adam Jones in the front row for Wales. Paul James will be hoping to drive the Welsh scrum alongside Matthew Rees, the captain at hooker. Craig Mitchell will be the cornerstone when Wales put the ball in the scrum. Reassurance for Wales behind the scrum. Jamie Roberts is back in the centre. Shane Williams is back on the wing. And there's a place for James Hook at fullback. A new cap for Tom Wood in the back row for England. But all eyes are further up on the drive of Andrew Sheridan and the line out throwing of Dylan Hartley. Mike Tyndall is the captain in for the injured 
Lewis Moody trying to get the best out of the England threats. The Bens, scrum half Ben Youngs and fullback Ben Foden, who says it's time to put Wales in their place. We shall see. Brian Moore, good evening. Good evening. I can't remember a build up to a Six Nations for a long time having the frisson that this one Wales have decided to. Uh, well, they've gone either side with their uh, forwards. And we will see left or it, I, it, close to call. I'm, I can't wait. I okay, can't right. wait. The man in the middle, an Irishman, Alan Roland. Jim. Dylan Hartley on, has been the subject of much pre-match chats. Now they can all get on with the rugby. Good take by Mike Tyndall, England's captain. Ben Push. Foden, acting scrum half. Here comes Ben Youngs. Foden trots back to fullback. Early touch for the new cap. Shantain Harpe, Chris Ashton, early contact and Stephen Jones stays down after the tackle. Time out please. Well the referee Alan Roland deciding that, uh, and he has the discretion of course to stop the game for safety reasons whenever he wants. Head in contact with four, uh, well not forearm, Sorry, upper arm. There's a safety stop here, too close to play. If you're looking as a coach there, head on the like wrong side of the shoulder, just for safety, going across the body, and that's why the contact came. He looks more Time winded than here. anything else, which is uh, reassuring for Wales. The coaches, Warren Gatland in the middle, certainly stirred things up. Martin Johnson couldn't resist having a dart back at Wales. All very interesting. And presumably, Brian, they'll be relieved that uh, the action will now do all the talking. They'll be relieved just that it, it, you know, it kicked off. Now then, the obligatory test for uh, concussion. Wales won't want to make the change early on. Although in James Hook, obviously, they have an ideal replacement to step up. Bradley Davis swears four for Wales. Uh, because it was a discretionary blast on the whistle. Here we go, Stephen Jones. Well, actually, he did get his head to the yeah, side. It's just he's going to the, wrong, yeah, but the wrong side, you know. He's going with that shoulder. Scrum down. England put in. Now, this is an area where there's been a lot of uh, talk about England dominance, and if they are to make uh, anything, then Andrew Sheridan really has to do a job. And Craig Mitchell. Pause! Again! This is Paul James against Dan Cole on this side, and uh, well, England get the free kick. Wales seem to have a little bit of a surge on there, and Wales not <laughs> ten, which is just as well for England because they didn't do that too too well. Well, a drive from Wales there early, albeit, but then again, referees another scrum fail. But uh, that will be if you're Welsh, you'll be very heartened about that, irrespective of the fact that pushing it, 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 before the ball, pushing before the ball. Interesting. Quite right. Interesting though, England opting for the scrimmage. Another chance to lock horns up front. I'd just like to say well done, Alan Rowland, for picking that up. Pause! Oh, one against the head. Penalty to Wales. England with the moral advantage at the first scrum. It's all uh, kicking off. Oh, tremendous. <laughs> Paul James against Dan Cole and 1 0 to Wales. 1 England 0 there. So much. Oh, here we go. Uh, no doubt he's just reminding uh, one against the head. Let's get on with it. Come on. The upshot of the penalty, close to the halfway line, is that Wales will have a good goal, and it is to be the long-distance man <laughs> from a position which will be familiar to those who remember the Grand Slam game of 2005. It was from about here that Gavin Henson 
won the game for Wales. This is James Hook. Just wide. Well, not shave away this time. And uh, well, England Stay remain down. pinned in the 22, although whether he will kick long or if it goes short here. Toby short. Flood, to just over halfway line, Stephen Jones. Yes. Yes. Andy Powell. Quickly re recycled for Hook. Oof. Away, White! Contact Stay. there for Dan Lydiot, but here come Wales. Andy Powell puts it downfield for Alan Wynne Jones to chase. Ben Foden is back. Well, I really don't understand why Andy Powell put boot to ball there with a lot of space. Even he could have taken it on further. Here we are. Look, overlap, he's only draws the man. Okay, he didn't have a winger outside him, but nevertheless. I think Alan Wynn saying something like, hello, big brother. Andy Powell twists, turns, delivers safely for the Welsh three quarters, and Sam Warburton from the back row. Inside is Jonathan Davis. Phillips takes on Shantin Happy. Matthew Rees takes on Dan Cole and Andrew Sheridan, the England props. The guards. Hook. Warburton. Wales has somehow recycled. That seemed they'd lost it. Andy Powell plays scrum half. Mike Phillips did very well Lydia. there. Bradley Davis, strength of the well second row. Craig Mitchell hovers over the ball. Penalty against England. Well, I'm afraid that's dull, really. Quite clearly, came in the side. Players know these rules cannot come in in that direction. When you come in, you've got to go alongside the back foot of your handmost man, you cannot come in from the side. Yeah. And Wales really need this kick to go over because they've had two opportunities now where they've bested England and uh, every time one doesn't go over you get the feeling that they may pay for it in the end. Stephen Jones will take over the kicking duties. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. That's two misses out of two for Wales. One apiece for Hook and Jones. Well, Wales have kept England out of the game really for the first seven minutes. Stephen Jones, Andy Powell with him. He tells his number eight to chase this. Hey on. Tyndall. Picks up the scraps. Push. Possession from England. Carry back inside. Toby Flood puts a boot to it. Hook is back across. Shane Williams inside him. Hook puts a boot to it. Well taken, Nick Easter. Stand. Ben Youngs. Inside, inside. Morgan Stoddart. The contact Push. is spectacular. Dylan Hartley. Sam Warburton makes the tackle on Toby Flood. Push. Hartley again. Oh, close. Easter, sorry. Eyes up, eyes up. Possession for England. Tom Wood, the oh, new captain. A few 
Small inches gained by Andy Set. Sheridan. Off Flo head. Tries Lapa, to off get head. the offload. Off it head. is a knock on. Advantage being played. Tyndall. Advantage. And Hoppe. Foden. Chased down by Shane Williams. And Foden doesn't release. Penalty to Wales. Quickly taken by James Hutt. Stephen Jones. Mike Phillips. Alan Wynne Jones to James Hook. Mark Cueto goes back for England, and at last we have a set piece and a chance to breathe, Brian. Well, it's, we've ended up there, but Ben Foden here, you see, ball in the wrong hand there. He needs to have the ball in the right hand so he can fend the player off. And ultimately, well, Wells can't back down in England territory, and Martin Johnson obviously not pleased about the fact that England have only had one sustained period of, uh, of possession and the rest has been Welsh. Now then, here's a little test for Dylan Hartley. A lot has been said about his throwing in. This is his first. Andy Nicol. Well, it, it's been all Wales for, for the, the last five or six minutes, but England had a chance in the first minute and it doesn't matter if it's the first minute or the last minute. When it's on, it's on. This is Toby Flood gets it straight from the kickoff. Stop it there. That's Paul James, the loose head prop. Sean Tain happy has to run straight and take him on because that's Ashton and that's Foden outside him. It was on. He ran across. He passed it too early. And I think a good opportunity for England in the first seconds of the game were lost. So, no chance for anybody to settle down then, Andy. Hartley finds his man. Ben Young. Ben Young's weights and kicks. Morgan Stoddart waits and drops it. England put in at the scrum. Well, a uh, uh, solid England line out. Dylan Hartley is not a bad thrower. Let's make that. But one Shizzle. of the problems that he does have Shizzle. is that if, if a throw goes wrong, it's, it's likely that you know the next one and the next one. What are you going to do? As a hooker, when one goes wrong, like a goal kick, it is say, right, that's gone, and uh, and not let it affect the remainder of, of that facet of your play. Another scrum fail. Penalty against Paul James. Straight in, got a bind. Well, all, all the first three scrummages haven't finished properly. If you look here, Dan Cole is binding on the arm and his opposite number, Paul James, hasn't got a bind at all. Really, really, really. England have their best attacking opportunity of the game. They're inside the Welsh 22. More, Safely taken more, by more. Tom Palmer. Surge by the England forwards. Mike Phillips has to go in to protect them all, but it's a good drive by England. Sheridan. High most, high most. Good tackle, Dan Lydiot around the fringes. You can't see here, but Chris Ashton is on the right wing. He's all on his own. He's waiting for the kick across. The England forwards may not have finished with this yet. You can see him there, right on the bottom of your screen. A long way from this action. It's Hartley. Now the Welsh have just Young's seen him now. Easter. Alan Wynne Jones wraps himself around the England number eight. Tyndall. It's a very disappointing end to a very patient builder. Whistle's gone. You don't try, you don't get. Yeah, well, at least pick him up and any, any other side is fine. Well, irrespective of whether he fell over, yep, would he have caught this anyway? Yep. Stay! No, he wouldn't. Dear, oh dear. 
Alan Wynne Jones down to Mike Phillips. Phillips prepared to run from his own 22. 22 tackled by Dan Cole. Sam Warburton plays scrum half. Warburton takes on Cole again. Push, push, push! Leicester tight head props makes his second tackle. Phillips okay, for Shane Williams to chase. Hasn't gone anywhere near Wells' danger man and England can counter-attack Ben Foden. Jonathan Davis tracks him back. England's passing again. Not leaving the receiver going forward. Hartley. Flood. Nick Easter delivers safely to Youngs. The drive on by James Haskell. Wales have a player down on that far side. Strong running by Chris Ashton. Andy Sheridan, Bradley Davis with the tackle. Flood. Haskell again. Away red hands! Opens up for Flood, and it's going to be a try for England. Chris Ashton, trademark hand raise. Well, and you England can open the scoring at the Millennium Stadium. You could see from where we are that that gap was a mile wide. Whether it was the same at pitch level remains to be seen, but whatever it was that Toby Flood saw, he went for it, and that was a very simple try. England. Exploiting a poor defence by Wales. Look at that gap. Not a drift defence, just came up and not in line. And Ashton using a... Well, Ashton is one of the best supporting players. His rugby league background allows... Well, he's familiar with running yeah. off tackles. And he was there again. Toby Flood adds the simple two points. Conversion in front of the post and England lead by seven points to nil. One day he'll drop one of those and Martin Johnson will jump for him. Tom Wood with a catch and the counter. Tell you what, what England did well, all the back row, Wood, Haskell and Easter have, have run with the ball and, and made it available in tackles. Stan! Ball is out of play. In the studio, Jerry Guscott. What an amazing game so far, two contrasting styles, Wales playing really, really quickly for, for five, ten minutes I thought. Oh no, England, you, you're just waiting for the Wales to come to you, but they've just taken everything in their stride, very controlled, everything with purpose, flood and young, really controlled, and that try was just worked so well. Now, let's see if the Wales heads go down, as I suspect they could do, because they're not used to winning, or can they rebound? The thing is, England do also have the opportunity, well, they've got the wherewithal to shut this game down with big men. Safe delivery to Young, who... So mysteriously drops the ball hasn't gone yes it has gone forward no advantage coming. Wales with nothing to show from their period of early dominance England with one chance well, I did one say, try I did say Eddie, you know, look at that it would have been 7-6 as it is it isn't well players all players can make mistakes and Ben Young doesn't, doesn't make many of them I don't know, Eddie, you, you, the, Wales have had a couple of players Balls. down for a, a prolonged yes. period. When they have the feeling that, see, the scrub is all over the place, moving. Time out for one second, Jim, please, one second. All right, lads, come here for a second. Please, come in. OK, we haven't had a completed scrum yet. Are you either pushing through the ball before the ball is in, you're popping, or you're going to ground? OK, we agreed, you get the binds up, head and shoulders above your hips, and the ball is not in, you don't push until it's in. OK, we got that now? All right, here we go. Time back on, please, Jim. Here's your mark. Crouch! Well spotted. All the weight will be coming on 
Craig Mitchell on the far side of the Welsh front row. Pause. Engage. No, wait. Oh, that. Take the hits, please, on contact. That, you make sure I you go straight. There, you go straight, I get him to take the hit. Here we are. Did you hear the, the, the uh, Alan Rowan say, take the hit? That, that is not in the law book. The, the word side. hit isn't in the law book. Crouch. Take the hit is a concept which is, 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 is ill-judged and is, is not relevant. Touch. Pause. Again. Andy Powell comes away from a scrummage that was going more <laughs> upwards than back, but from the pressure... Wales concede the penalty, all down to the work at the scrum. Well, that's a problem when you pick up off a moving Shot scrum and you're going slightly, you know, he was going to the side, just a great tackle line for the England back row, they buried him. There you are, Tom Wood, he's been behind, his support. And this is a relatively simple kick. And in terms of the uh, the game, you know, eight, nearly 20 minutes gone, it's been about half and half. Welsh, Welsh possession and pressure and English and England are likely to find themselves 10 points up and if this goes over Wales have to score next Point safely delivered by Toby Flood. England up in the double figures. Wales nil. England ten. This is the last time I'm going to go on about the scrums because you know it's all evident. Alan Rowan, in that explanation which you all heard, absolutely right about that. But the next time Wales pushed early, didn't do anything. Next time, time England pushed early, didn't do anything. Wales have split their forwards, chasing this. Nobody. Alan Wynne Jones watched as Mike Tyndall. Took it well again. That's the third time Tyndall's taken ball like that. Tom Palmer Not offload, off, but England it. now giving the ball back to Wales. Matthew Reese, the captain, with a good run, tries the offload. Advantage still being played. Clever ball by Alan Wynne Jones. Stephen Jones, Jonathan Davis, Shane Williams just drops it. We'll go back to the first knock on. Well, that was nearly brilliant, wasn't it? Several pieces of very adept uh, uh, handling. Some great dexterity just when the final one went to the man Push who you want to finish it. Push straight now, okay? Look at that. Go, He's a great ball player, isn't he? All lovely and then just a little a little bit behind him. Because Wales Wales want and need Shane Williams to get in this game and have the ball. Because he lifts everybody. Interesting who hasn't been involved yet. Jamie Roberts. Okay. Chance here from the scrum. Well, he, 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 either side. Interesting split by Wales, Brian. Yep. Well, look, you can see there they've got both sides to work with. Well, they're stacking. Uh, Stephen Jones is stood on the left-hand side. And the ball is in from the Welsh point of view, which suggests to me that he'll go right. Because Shane Williams is over there. It's as simple as that. Shantin Harpy is pointing that out. So we've got two wingers on the right for Wales. That's on the far, in the distance, Shane Williams inside Morgan Studdart. Shantin Harpy trying to organise the defence. Mike to is outside him. Centre and a winger against two wingers. Well, Trent! it will be interesting. But first, we've got to negotiate this yeah, yeah, little yeah, thing. Right. Touch! Pause! Engage! It's moving, but it's OK for Wales. Mike Phillips takes right, the contact Chandler. himself. It's quick enough for Andy Powell, who takes the contact. Wales! Hands out! They're going the same way. Through the front row now. Now the switch. Powell takes one and two out. Sheridan and Hartley. Stephen Jones. Jonathan Davis. Away, White! Tackle! Hands out! Leave it! 
penalty against England. James Haskell, little hand dipping into the ruck there. No, no, it wasn't. It was his foot that hooked it out. The question is, do you criticise him saying if he knew what he was doing or, or not? Let's have a look. Well, he... Oh, I think you can say he did know. One more word. Yeah. To any of my officials, okay, the best case scenario is you'll have the yellow card. Understood? Thank you. Oh, well, the referee has just talked about a, a, a yellow card for the next infringement. Uh, Chris Ashton, was it for a bit of talk, was it? I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. Stephen Jones puts Wales' first points on the board. Wales 3, England 10. It's the first weekend of Six Nations, of the Six Nations, tomorrow in Rome, Italy versus Ireland. And France versus Scotland after that. Last four. Last four here off White. Another knock-on by England, Wales will have a scrum is quite close to the touchline, so Brian will England look to swing Wales towards that touchline? Well, let, let's see if the scrum stays up for start off. Uh, I think you've got to negotiate that before anything else. Do you know that, that, that sides don't even practice backs moves off scrums anymore? Because they can't be sure where the ball will come out. Anyway, on a, on a more general note, what's actually happened, and it is. You know, early on, the the, the 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 power in the hits was apparent. You know, from 40 yards away where we are, and it's settled down a little bit now, so that the gaps are starting to appear. Sees the gap. There you are, not coming up together. Craig Mitchell selling himself early. Well, it's the ultimate mismatch, isn't it? It is. Number 10 between the two props, one and three. Two bits there though, seeing it and doing it, that's one. Sorry, that's two, sorry, three bits. And then Ashton, supporting Four. line. There you go. One, two, three, four. Wales turn the scrum the way they'd like it, in field. Oh, right. That's good work Push. by them. Ball's carried back in. Stand, stand. This can't go straight out. Carry back it in. has done. Oh, mistake by Stephen Jones, slice kick. Colin Chavez. Yeah, I, I think what is very worrying is that Wales have got three points now. They've had four or five forays into the English uh, red zone, as they say, but they've only come away with three points. Twice England have come close to the, the Welsh line. Twice they've come away with points. It's a very difficult and efficient juggernaut to try and stop, and I'm sure the Welsh will need to shore things up at the moment. Tom Wood at the tail, Ben Youngs. Easter and Harpe combine well, quickly delivered. Palmer tries to offload. Here's Tom Wood clearing up the scraps. Good strength by the Northampton back row forward. Push, push. Nick Easter. Phillips can't bring Foden down. Here's Mark Cueto. Lewis Deacon, the second row, delivers for club mate from Leicester, Ben Youngs, Mike Tyndall. Sheridan, tackled by Alan Wynne jones Good curtain running in front of Shantaine Happe. Good offload from Nick Easter. Craig Mitchell did well to come up fast. Push, push. Easter again. Push back. Orbiton hauls him down. But that Eddie is where England are making ground through the back row. And Andrew Sheridan. Youngs. Toby Flood. Thought it was a mismatch again up against the second row. There was, and if he hadn't been on the back foot, he would have been through again. Turnover ball. Craig Mitchell has to give it. He does. 
to Mike Phillips. He has Morgan Stoddard outside and now Stoddard escapes one. Ben Foden back for England. The Welsh breakout, the mounting threat from England, the collapse of that threat and the sudden breakout by Wales. Well, you can't take your eyes off the game. Imprecision on the floor there, I think it was Lewis Deacon. Out, please. Good play by Craig Mitchell, Out. I thought he was going to kick it for a moment. Push back. Foden's done well here, as he made a lot of ground look. Let's go! Just wonder whether or not he might have put boot to ball there, just to okay. keep it alive. Different type of throw now for Dylan Hartley. It is, but he's been on the money all the way through the far. And again, and he is again. Lewis Deacon takes for England. That's the 22 metre line. Red, red. Ben Young's kicks. Mike Phillips waits. That's okay. Stephen Jones gets the ball away to Andy Powell. Hands away! Hands down, White! Stay! James Hook from fullback. Shane Williams. Jonathan Davis stayed with him. Offloads to Morgan Stoddard. Good strength from the Scarlet Swinger. Phillips. Jones. A lot of men over. Dan Lidiot. Away, White! They still need to get the ball away quickly. Penalty advantage, Wales. They'd still like to make something of this. Stephen Jones, Bradley Davis, Sam Warburton. Warburton offloads to Bradley Davis. Bradley Davis surges into the England 22. Shane Williams, Stephen Jones, Dan Lydiot. One more pass for Wales. England scramble back. Phillips, there's penalty be, again. Be, that could be, be yellow. yellow penalty yellow plus yellow. Yeah, inevitable. <laughs> Wales have got to be careful here because they'll get it reversed. Lewis Deacon is off for 10 minutes. Wales have the penalty for three points. Well, England were warned a few minutes ago and it was right in front of the post, right in the middle of the field. And you've just got to leave those. The ball was out, obviously, because Phillips is whether or not he came from the right side, whether he was onside. He was decided he wasn't, and when that decision was made, it was going to be a yellow, and England can't complain about that because of the potential scoring situation. Well, there was always going to be drama in this game. It's been a great game. Oh, enthralling so far, enthralling. Jim, your time check there? How much? Wales are within four points of England. Stephen Jones's second penalty. Wales six, England ten. And now then, the rest of the half virtually, bar, bar a minute and a quarter. Wales are going to have the extra man. The average number of points, about seven, when you're a man up. And they, Wales will, will really, they really have to put those seven over or something near there, because if England hold them at this, or in fact increase the lead, then that will be a big moral victory for England. Andy Powell with a catch. And he's lost the ball, good ripping by Dan Cole. Advantage handed back to England. Haskell. Hands out, Reds, let go! England won't do much in this 10 minutes apart from absorb Welsh defenders when they're in possession. Push. Tom Palmer. Hands out, Red! Mark Cueto. Run away, push back, high most. See, from a Welsh point of view, they've got a different, slightly difficult conundrum because they want the ball to make use of the extra man. But what they don't want to Release do is to give a penalty away uh, in, their, in their desperation to get it. Chris Aston, hungry for work. Push back. That's OK. I know. Happy. 
Run away, Reds! Oh. It's slow enough for England, but they won't mind. Tom Wood. I've been impressed by Wood so far. Carried the ball well. As a leader, that man. See what a difference it makes when players push the ball backwards. Out so much quicker. That could be yellow as well there. No, it won't be the ball yellow. out of the ruck. No, it won't be a yellow, but it demonstrates exactly what I said, Eddie. Number eight, offside. Andy Nicol. I always like looking at the Newcaps to see how they're doing now. Brian Moore just said that Tom Wood's been good, but if we look here, he has been good in general terms, but this is Tom Wood just going to circle there at the side of the scrum. Now, Andrew Sheridan has got Craig Mitch under severe pressure. Mike Phillips picks this up. Tom Wood should be smashing him there. As it is, Mike Phillips gets the run. It doesn't lead to anything here, but Tom Wood needs to be a bit sharper on the side of the scrum. Well, I did say just before Wales gave that penalty away that they shouldn't do that in their desperation to get the ball back off England to exploit the extra man, but indeed that's what they've done. And this to restore the seven-point gap. Converted try, and obviously three penalties or drop kick. Yep. Well struck by Toby Flood, and England down to 14, extend their lead back to seven points. Well, I'm not entirely sure that's a penalty, actually. Mark Cueto bangs the ball into touch. England have lost a line-out jumper in Lewis Deacon. Well, you can make uh, you can make and do oh, in the line-out. Just cut the numbers, which indeed England have done. There's Tom Palmer, the other second row, the one left on the field. But they got the ball in now. Oh, no, it's a Welsh throw, so I'm surprised that Wales have cut the numbers. Craig Mitchell at the front of the Welsh line out. Paul James at the back. Alan Wynne Jones and Dan Lydiat. And oh, they've dear. overthrown it. Luckily for them, Ben Youngs knocks it on. Well, ironically, Eddie, the prior to the game, a vernacular yeah. wisdom was that the Welsh line out might get the ascendancy. And the English scrum mine has turned out to be completely the opposite. But that is, a, that is not just... Well, that, sometimes it's not the hooker's fault, but that was. So that's a long overthrow. Number eight? Okay. Time out, number eight, we need him. Time out, because Andy Powell is down top of picture. We've shown you can give me good scrums. We've had two very good scrums. Yeah, You've set the standard for the rest of the game, please. Off. Okay. Walking off. As I said to them, without as I said to them, the your last two scrums have been Any good. Any clues, Brian? You can do it. So there's no, no I didn't see what happened. Okay. So it doesn't look. You know, I can't see anything visible. But I mean, if it's a, you know, if it's a joint injury or something like that, you, 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 you won't see it. What? Perhaps it's something that uh, can be found out down on the touchline. Simon, is that injury or blood? Now that man there, nodding and talking, Nick Easter. Not always appreciated what he does. Ryan Jones. Ryan Jones, Ryan Jones comes on to a resounding cheer. Well, he's a great player, isn't he? Offers something different to Andy Powell. But certainly offers no less ability and, and more experience. OK, time back on, please, Jim. Here we go, there's your mark. Crouch! Ryan Jones on for Andy Powell and goes into the middle of the back row. Touch! Pause! Again! Well, scrummage should be solid, but they've lost it. James Haskell comes away with it. Been a very clumsy few minutes for Wales with the man advantage. Well taken, James Hook. Now, Run away! He's running in a very dangerous area. But it seems he has delivered to Stephen ball, Jones, ball, but that's a line-out that's gone badly for Wales, and now a scrummage. Stand, stand! Nicky Stutt. Can't gather. 
at the first attempt. Feeds infield now to Chris Ashton. Ashton. Release the ball! Hands out! That's Stephen Jones who snapped it for Wales. Backwards. That's gone backwards. Somebody has to claim this ball now. Hands out! England who come away with it, Ben Youngs puts a boot to it and That's England kick. keep the pressure on Wales. Sonia. Well there was no uh, immediate uh, sign of any injury to uh, number eight Andy Powell but there you can see a bit of plastic peeking out from uh, under his red jersey. He's got ice on uh, a left shoulder injury which means that former captain Ryan okay. Jones gets his chance in this uh, yeah. enormous yeah. fixture. One two of your players now are finding themselves on the wrong side of the ball. Okay, now let's got to stop. Well, there's about two minutes left on the uh, Simbin clock and uh, it hasn't turned out at all well for Wales this period, has it? It's okay, ball's carried that back That line out does work efficiently. A long kick from Mike Phillips. Mark Quito. Hook waits. Spins out almost effortlessly from the first tackle. Brought down in the Good second, way. delivers to Phillips, Dan Lydiot. Lydiot takes the contact, just makes an extra yard, which helps Bradley Davis. He's a good carrier of the ball, Bradley Davis. A lot of players wide for Wells, if you can see. They've gone for the kick. Morgan Stoddart waits on the wide outside. Can't take it. Oh, real danger oh, there. Knock on, though. Oh, so close. Yep. You can have, well, good cover by England. You can have your thoughts about whether it was better to keep the ball in hand there or kick it, but at the end of the day, that was mighty, mighty close. I, I feel that he, he, even had he caught that, Tueto had made enough ground. Now, worrying for England is that Dan Cole, that's Morgan Stoddard, this is Mark Cueto, but uh, Dan Cole is having attention here, front of, bottom of the picture. And that's not good for a prop to have a... An He's all right. shoulder from Leicester. <laughs> I just thinking though, know, Brian, England seven in the scrimmage, tight well, against the touchline. No, Wales right. really well, must yeah. Yeah. get some pressure I'll tell you what's been here. Great about this. There've been one strike against head each, and you know what it is. When the scrum is steady and they have to hook because they're not used to doing it, proper hooking, the ball's uh, cannoning everywhere. I think it's great. Well, there's also been an insistence from the referees that the ball go in straight. Time well, marginally, yeah. but you know it's better. Yeah. But. If, if Wales can't make a mess of this and England you know, clear their lines, you'll have had nearly all the time of the, of the 10 minute Simbin with England in Welsh territory and Wales not anywhere near scoring a point. Touch! Pause! Again! Pushing early. Oh, wasted opportunity. Quite right, Alan Rowland. Scrum fail, well done. Steady before the ball, please. Well done. And I'm not saying that because it's a Welsh, uh, it's a Welsh infringement. I just like to see it refereed properly. Here we are. The early drive and England confident oh, enough. Oh, no, Until the ball comes in. To go for the scrummage, so I Wales got a second bite square before the ball comes in. at the seven-man England in scrum. Crouch. Well, they know it'll take another minute up for start off. Uh, Touch. Pause. Again. <laughs> Okay, it's all right. Well, it creaked a bit in the end, and Nikista had to pick up the ball under pressure, but Wales, hands on the floor, give away the penalty. Seven. In the desperation to get some possession, to try the hard work, then you and exploit your hands the to extra the man. Seven. Get out of jail for England, who will now take the time and punt this as far as it can downfield, take the line out, I would think, with a, a shortened line out, and then try and keep possession for the rest of the half. Okay. Of which they have two minutes, and that's a good kick with well, about five metres angle to work from. Okay, yeah, there you go. Hands on the floor. Let's have a look. Couldn't see from there, but there was one. Well, anyway, Alan Rowland saw one, so that's all that counts, because he is a referee. Tom Palmer has done well at the line-out. Easter. Hi, 
Hands out, Red! Okay, stay, stay. Flood. Mike Tyndall. Little step inside. Tom Wood had an impressive first half of Hands international out. rugby. Oh, the long pass goes wayward. Ben Foden, though. A chance, a rare chance for the fullback to run. I'll tell you what, people underestimate about Foden, though, is his strength because he's a powerful runner, not just, you know, an exciting one. Run away, Reds! There it is. If you go high on him, you're not going to get much change. Ben Youngs puts one. Behind Morgan Stoddart, Stoddart takes on Chris Aston and wins. Ryan Jones back. Doesn't risk the offload. But he's got to get the ball away from there because right. it, you know, England's defence has now rearranged itself, but there was... An overlap for Wales, though. Shane Williams. Jonathan Davis puts a boot to it and chases. Foden knocks on. One last chance for Wales. <laughs> Whistle's gone. We will have the scrummage, even though the 40 minutes are up. A chance for Wales. The overlap was on for them. Prepared to attack from deep. Lewis Deacon back on the field. England back up to 15. On these little things, do big consequences. I don't need to remind you, okay? All right. Ensue from them. There's a the scrum. Here we are. Ooh. There's your mark. Come. Steady before it's in. It is a telling statistic, though. Let's go. To have a ten minute Let's period go. where you're a man up and Crouch. lose it, and lose it 3 0. Six, six. Touch! Pause! Again! Quick freed from Phillips. Sorry, 3 0. Having said that. Ryan Jones goes around the blind side. Haskell makes the tackle, Jones still on his feet. Hands out, push, push! No friends, no friends! Away! Bradley Davis. To Paul James. Sam push Warburton. Back. Now to the three quarters. Jones, Shane Williams. Shane Williams outside Tyndall, the kick! For Stoddart to chase, but England are back there in numbers and a wasted opportunity, perhaps, on the stroke of half-time. The referee's whistle goes, and at the interval, England have the advantage. It's Wales 6, England 13. Well, three times well to put boot to ball when maybe it was wiser not to do so, and in, and in doing so, deny themselves an opportunity of converting a chance and that's been the story England have taken everything that's come their way and Wales haven't that's where we've got to will they turn it round Thirteen points to six, England leading Wales at half-time. The RBS Six Nations opener for 2011 from Millennium Stadium. Just a one try to Ashton. A little bit of uh, indifferent kicking from the Welsh with Hook missing the early couple of opportunities. Jones two from three, Flood two from two. The penalties plus the conversion gives them the seven-point margin at half-time. In a game that has had a few mistakes, plenty of entertainment, and the odd bit of biffo. Gordon Bray, Matthew Burke, I enjoyed the first half. What about yourselves? Well, it was a, it was an entertaining first half, but you've got to say it was a half of missed opportunities for the Welsh. Oh, they dominated that first ten minutes, missed a couple of kicks at goal. England came back and took their points, ten points in the second ten minutes, and then when they were a man down, Wales really blew it. Um, they conceded three points, and also against a seven-man scrum. How mm. do you how do you lose a tight head? Well, that is exactly right, Gordon. But it, it, isn't it great to see the chat after the, that first scrum about the second minute of the game? Um, just the blobs. There, there's so much pride in winning your own ball and losing your own ball. It's a little chat in the way through. There was a bit of a, a bit of a scurry as well. So it was plenty of through. highlights in that first half. Let's take a look at some of them. Gordon, Matthew, take us through uh, the early incidents uh, that started out with the uh, England team. 
really on the back foot in the first 10 minutes and then all of a sudden things turned around very, very quickly. Well, I think Toby Flood certainly um, was a more dominant number 10 than his opposite number, Stephen Jones, who took a knock early. But the back row has been running very well. Haskell, Wood and Easter for England. Absolutely. And Gordon, I, I can't agree with you more about the, just the 9-10 combinations. Here's the try. Just a great bit of vision. Uh, isolating a prop and a hooker and then Ashton on the way through scoring a try. Probably not technically how you want to score it, just in case, but they got across on the post and having not had a great deal of the ball, Gordon, they got off to a great start. Well, how crucial then, boys, those two missed penalties early on. Berkey, off air, you were saying he's a terrible kicker, shouldn't have been given the job in the first place. Oh, I've just I've just seen him over so many years. He's, his action, he's very straight and, and they should go over. And, and at this level, kickers don't win your games, they, they, they don't lose your games, they win your games, but in the end, it was uh, disappointing for Wales. Wales, to me, look like a side that uh, have lost their last seven games. They're not playing with confidence. They're trying too hard. And when they do get into attacking positions, they've, they've either kicked the ball away yeah. or they haven't kicked it when they should have kicked it and maybe kept the ball in play. So they really have to find some confidence here, Berkey. And uh, they showed a lot of promise. And this certainly should have resulted in a try. That should have been something. Here's the, uh, the incident with Lewis uh, Deacon coming over and, uh, and spoiling 10 minutes. And so be it. Um, you know, Wales should have got seven points out of that. They do have that great ability to hold the ball and recycle the ball. And you'll see it throughout the second half. They turn the ball over quite well. This is a great little attacking play as well. Trying to go wide and, and use the whip. But unfortunate, I mean, a, uh, a tough catch. Berkey, Stoddard, you would have, you, caught, that. You would have caught, caught that, Berkey, no doubt. But and Stoddard's it? dropped a couple of balls. He's playing in his first test and, 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 and that's hurt. It really has hurt. Uh, and in the their Welsh final team. stages, uh, the time is up effectively. Again, they decide to kick. They should have been running, retaining the ball, giving them a chance for a penalty, a drop goal. It's just some points well, to see narrow they, that margin. They isolated uh, Mike Tyndall, actually, on, the, on that last play. Shane Williams, who we spoke about at the start, came around the corner, showed a bit of speed, but just hang on the ball. First, you can't score a try if you kick the ball away, well, unless you're spot on. Settle, oh. settle the nerves. Wales are, are trying too hard at the moment. You mentioned <laughs> that. 39 <laughs> seconds in. I don't know whether we have the highlight. Stephen Jones oh. tries a tackle. You said, what is a number 10 trying to do? <laughs> tackle. He's like the quarterback. They don't tackle. It's just, he, he got caught out. Obviously, the way they go, they go kick off. He goes to the right-hand side. And you know, you're expecting England to just kick it out from your 22, but they ran it. They, they showed that against the Wallabies last year in that spring tour. They, they have got the ability to, to go from their own line and make a tackle and bang, he came out second best. OK, uh, you know what's going to happen in the second half. England are going to try and hang on for dear life and Wales are going to throw it around. Well, I think Wales really didn't handle the pressure in that first half. And uh, they've really got to come out and score first in the second. OK, we're going to take a break here on ESPN's live and exclusive coverage of the RBS Six Nations. We're back with the second half straight after this. Welcome back to ESPN's live and exclusive coverage of the RBS Six Nations. The opening game, Wales and England from Millennium Stadium. The players just coming back onto the field, as you can see. 13 points to six after a try to Chris Ashton uh, for the Englishman through uh, about 14 minutes of the first half. Toby Flood with the three successful kicks at goal. And for Wales, Jones having two successful penalties has them seven points in arrears. Matthew Burke, Gordon Bray... Warren Gatlin, what's he saying second half for inside the sheds at the moment? Well, I think Warren Gatlin's going to say to his side, patience is important with the ball and composure because Wales really blew their lines there in very good attacking situations. So they've got to be more composed with the ball and they've also got to read the breakdown a little better when England is in their half because they were committing players and missing first-time tackles. Berkey, uh, on the other side of the coin, Martin Johnson? Yeah, you know, I think you might say it's a bit loose at the moment. The, 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 the structure's there. It's, it's quite an open game, which is great to mm. see, but tighten it up a bit more, get control around that 10 mark, Get your line out and scrum sorted, and everything's OK. OK, and your prediction of uh, your man Johnny coming on with seven minutes to go. Looks like it might be on track uh, as the players return to the field. Led out by the England captain, of course, Mike Tyndall, responsible for a pretty ordinary pass in the first <laughs> half. But uh, he has his side leading by seven points at this stage. All set for a terrific second half, the opening game of the RBS Six Nations as we head back to Millennium Stadium.
fine. Just waiting for the queue, okay? Louis, get me okay? Simon? Grace? Jim? Thank you, John. Okay. We good to go, yeah? Nigel? Toby okay, Flood awaits the order right, from Time on, please. Alain Roland. Ryan Jones on the field at number eight. Andy Powell will take no further part in the match. And it is Jones who catches and drives. Ball's outside. Stan Lydiot. Ball's carried back inside. Jonathan Davis. Ben Foden. by Shane Williams the pass in field to Jonathan Davis ball still alive Flood is back there for England Carry back inside Toby Flood couldn't kick directly for touch so goes long to Shane Williams combines with James Hook Morgan Stoddart Hook plays scrum half. Here's Phillips. Matthew Reese. Roll away, hands! Don't, don't kick it out. Stephen Jones. Ryan Jones. Patient enough by Wales. James Hook looks inside, then goes outside. Sam Warburton. Jamie Roberts. Quiet so far, but involved at the start of the second half. Mike Phillips, Bradley Davis, Stephen Jones, Ryan Jones. Away, eight! Stay! Shane Williams. It's a silly penalty to give away England that slowed the ruck right down. They had it on their own terms. Well, we're going to get another 10 here, and Don't that's even that more. Don't do that again. Well, he should have just marched him 10 then. Needless, you were right in your description. And whilst you said early on, how dull is that? Look at that. Three yards in front. That's what you get when wingers go into rucks, Chris Ashton. But, I mean, Eddie, Eddie you said a quiet yeah, you said a quiet start uh, uh, by Wales. I would have said a patient start. Because uh, unlike the first half, when they were flying around, that was a, with a bit more purpose. And uh, I tell you what, did uh, something in the middle there, like Ryan Jones, come on, took the ball in, managed to wriggle free. He, he offers, Powell offers power. Ryan Jones offers a bit more up, up, up Stephen top. Jones, that's a beautiful kick. He had a bit a of a start. sticky start in the first half, but that's a that's a much better start for Stephen Jones and for Wales in the second. They're back to within four points. Wales nine, England thirteen. Well, what that's done is lift the crowd again because he's relatively subdued when Wales came out, and now the mood has, has picked up. Ryan Jones. Had an impact, it might be said. Tackled by Ball Lewis Deacon. Wales, though, safely in possession. Here's a replica of the, the first moments. Dan Lydiot in his own 22. Jonathan Davis puts a boot to the ball as he did. This time the ball goes out and we'll have a line out. If you're Welsh, you will want your forwards to try and make an inroad into this particular set piece which they failed to do conspicuously in the first half England will want the control that they exhibited that man Dylan Hartley thrown in well England's line out very efficient this evening 
under the closed roof at the Millennium Stadium. This is England's nerve settler. Trying to drive them all, but uh, Wales countered well. England will have the throw, and Hartley will check it in again. Alan Wynne Jones yeah. doing well there to yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. sneak in between the English forwards, legally so. England taking the time to try and build the drive, which is what you need to do with drives. Don't rush them. But when they start the drive going forward, then they have to go with dynamism. Then the legs have to pump. Lewis Deacon delivers to Ben Youngs, Toby Flood, Ben Foden. Space for Mark Cueto, Jonathan Davis in front of him. Davis with the tackle. Jamie Roberts is held up at the ruck. Flood. Wales came up in a bit of a dog leg there. Bradley Davis to the fore. Oh, penalty to England and referees going for yellow. Ooh. Craig Mitchell is going to the bin. Well, that is debatable. Is that a shot signal? Shot, please. It's only debatable in the sense of theoretical, because you don't debate the referee's decision because he's made it. I'm not talking about the offence, it is an offence, I just wonder whether it's not in the red zone. I don't think Wales have given too many away, but let's, let's stop talking about this. He's made his decision and I'll shut up. Okay. Here's Toby Flood. England up to 16. They make Wales pay for indiscipline at the breakdown area. Well, Flood is carrying on with his precision kicking. And also, England spotted the fact that the Welsh defence had come up in a dog leg and just that's what drew the penalty in the end. Seeing what's in front of them again. It's a wobbler from Stephen inside, Jones. Inside, inside. Mark Guaito makes a lot of ground with that kick. In the, the middle there, Alistair Cook, hero of the Ashes series. Didn't he play well? Huh? Didn't he play well? No, Didn't he it. just? Couldn't happen to a nicer race, could it, really? I'll probably get in I trouble thought, for that. I don't I care. I thought you just told yourself to shut up. Matthew well, Reese, the Welsh captain, giving himself the brave heart treatment. Throwing in, finding Dan Lydiot. Mike Phillips for Shane Williams to chase hasn't really gone far enough and is straight though no, it's not well done Shane Williams well Wales have salvaged something out of not very much there and get the drive on up front Phillips passes this time oh, to nobody in particular Jamie Roberts takes it upon himself in midfield smack in the middle of the pitch options both sides Shane Williams not held Dan Lydiot squirms forward. Oh, another pass from Mike Phillips goes. It's not the referee. Oh, yeah. Alan Rowland was not flying oh, there. Oh, and another one for Mike Phillips. Well, good hands by the players on the receiving end of the Phillips passes at the moment. Oh, he decides to run this time. And does find the supporting Paul James, Matthew Rees. Well, it's a good patient work by the Welsh forwards. Who are down to seven. James Hook against Dylan Hartley and against Andrew Sheridan. Those are the mismatches Ooh, boy, that seven. Hook seven. is seeking seven. all the time. Shane Williams. Tom Wood drags him down. Phillips. Jonathan Davis. Ryan Jones. Matthew Rees. Shane Williams. A 
again, and Mike Tyndall this time won't let him go on his outside. Well, it's very lateral, the run, wasn't it? It's there for Stephen Jones. Here's Phillips. Two props. Release it wide hands! The scrum Away. half. Stephen Jones. Morgan Sturrard. There it is, push. Stay. No. Well, again, it's patient from Wales. Alan Wynne Jones, Bradley Davis, another pass from Wales goes onto the ground, and this time England swoop on it. Here's Tom Wood again. Hands out, Reds! Push back, back! Ben Young's little dink. And it was beautifully read by Chris Ashton. Good work by Cole to clear out there as well. Well, that wasn't quite such a Take good kick from in. Young. Stood up. Ooh, off Mike Tyndall. Now, I, don't, I really don't understand that by Young's then, because Wells have run six minutes off this clock of their ten minutes down to 14 men. Yeah. England have not had the ball. The first time they get it, it's kicked away. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That is... That's a disgrace. That's a red. Don't do that. Totally unnatural for a rugby player to trip people. Citing commissioner will have something to say about that, quite rightly so. Welsh line out. Makes a mistake. England back in possession. 15 man England against 14 man Wales. Hartley on the dummy run. Here's Toby Flood in possession. Trotting Hoppy to Mike Tyndall. Ben Foden up from fullback was up forward. England still in possession. Jamie Roberts can't hold Ben Foden. Roberts very slowly back onto his feet. Hartley. Flood. Another spot of the mismatch. It's Mike Phillips who has to make the tackle. Youngs. Nick Easter. Look at that, he's taken three men with him. And Morgan Stoddart may be injured after this. Crash ball for England. And there's a knock on there now. Morgan Stoddart back on his feet but limping. Little knock forward there. Now this is where England need a big scrum. Seven. Time off, please. Oh dear. Six. Six oh. Substitution. Six. I don't know which part of his groin went or whatever, but that not a natural position to find yourself in, Pardon? not what you want to be. No, it's a red ball. And that's Knocked John Yap, who won't be coming on as a replacement for Morgan Stoddart. He's coming on for Dan Lydiot, of course, because Wales must have three front row forwards on. Craig Mitchell is in okay, the bin. Nigel, thank you. Jonathan. Yeah, I think Wales are very lateral at the moment. There's no one, you know, carrying ball, going up the middle. You know, they're not sucking defenders on, and England are soaking it quite comfortably. It'll be interesting to see when the decision is made to move James Hook to the standoff, bring Lee Byrne on, because Hook is playing a second 5 8, but there's no runners hitting holes for him, so there's no options. It'll be interesting to see when the change is made. Big scrimmage for Wales to face here first. Seven man Wales. They'll have to go for quick ball. The danger there is that their goal line is only just behind them, five metres away. So a tight head side here. Not being bound. England have to be disciplined here and, and, um, and time the shove properly. Paul James has gone over onto the Welsh tight head, leaving John Yap on his preferred loose head. Here's Paul James up now against Andrew Sheridan. That's good from Wales. Ryan Jones had us a chance to move away from the scrummage. Yeah, did well. Done well. Phillips. Doesn't make much ground, it is relief of sorts, but it's an England throw.
Even though Wales got out of that, England are now, well, for the first time really in this half, in a decent position in Welsh territory. Took the line out, which leaves the options of runners and their back rows run well. Tom Palmer. Nick Easter standing out in midfield, tackled by Sam Warburton. Young, sudden switch of play. Foden. Hook comes across. Ooh, ooh, ginger ooh, ball. Ooh. Morgan Stoddart. Read it. Phillips is there, but Wales under all sorts of pressure. Well, they're fortunate to get away with that. Golden rule of rugby, isn't it? If you're in trouble, don't make it worse by passing the ball. The old scrum half, Shane Williams, back into his old position. And again, England keep the pressure on. England line out, England throw inside the Welsh 22. Well, I suppose he didn't want to give England a line out there, but he, he could have presented them with uh, with a try because he had no idea where the ball was going no indeed where the supporting players from either side were well if Wales do the next minute without uh, conceding they'll have done well Hartley finds Palmer as he has done all evening now the England drive Ryan Jones trapped at the bottom Haskell they managed to get the ball back to Tom Palmer. This is where they need quick ball. It is quick enough. Happy. Mokweto. And it's going to be a second try for Chris Ashton. The extra man counts. See the difference? When England get there and they get a chance, they put it away. No lateral running. The inside backs. Inside shoulders run at. And therefore, men count. Good run by Palmer, see the big gap. And from here, look. That's the run, inside shoulder. From the experienced Kuwaito puts his wing colleague away. I would think that would be decisive in the end. Very clinical. England up over 22 tries to the good. Two tries for Chris Ashton of Northampton. And I know this will sound a long time ago, but at the beginning of all this, the 10 minute period, it was Toby Flood's recognition uh, uh, that the break was on, that drew the penalty, that got them the extra man. And will he uh, add insult to injury by putting this through the post? Four out of four for Toby Flood. Oh, five out of five. Well, although Chris Ashton has scored two tries and it's finished them well, it is that man who has been the general. John Yap goes off for Wales. Here's the finish by Chris Ashton. Wales back up to 15 for the restart, James Hook takes it, Craig Mitchell is back on, John Yap has gone off. Ben Foden. Push back. Carry back. Stand, stand, stand. The invitation to Wales, if you're going to come at us, you must come from deep. James Hook says, we'll go through the air first. Good tackle by Stephen Jones on the danger man on the counter, Ben Foden. Foden's done well though, even though because even though he was driven back, told he was a, a strong player. Tom Wood Push. drives it up. Flood controlling things, switching the play. Shane Williams. Jones to Hook, Bradley Davis, 
again. He took a, it was a standing start for Bradley Davis, but he made a yard. Phillips, again, a pass from him, goes to the floor. Yeah, but it's all Paul going... James, they might work the overlap, though. Craig Mitchell puts Ryan Jones away. They need the quick men outside. It is Shane Williams. Mike Tyndall did well to get back. Mark Cueto has done well to get back. And here's Haskell from the England back row. That needs field. to go off the field. England have been There's under Hook. pressure. Phillips. Bradley Davis. And again, the extra yard from Davis. They want delivery quickly. Here it is. Stephen Jones. Jonathan Davis. Morgan Stoddard outside him. Stoddard for the line. Wales back in the game. How desperately was that needed? And for the first time in a long time, you've had a red shirt running a line, which is turned out to the touchline, and that's been the result. How Wales needed that, because they were in danger of being buried. The forward shoulders had, had gone down, but they worked the position. Ah, who's out of position there? Well, they tried to uh, butcher it, didn't they, in the end, with the pass behind. Shantane Harpy's come up, and he's been... Rounded. Beautiful pass allowed Jonathan Davis to go on that drifting arc. The, the delivery to Morgan Stoddart wasn't the best. And Stoddart, who's carrying a bump you know, too, did well to score. You know the difference, Eddie? He may, he may kick this, and if he does, it, it won't be a point. But if he doesn't, let's see. Moot point. Doesn't matter. Beautiful kick. kick. The kickers are in fine form. The game has burst into life. Well, it's been gripping from the very outset and it's going to remain dramatic to the very end. Morgan Stoddart, Wales' his first try. Well, that's the first time that the uh, England backs or the England defence have come up crooked, man in front, and Wales has seen that and that's what they need more of. We, more move. Critical. we move into the last quarter. Jonathan Davis, who made the arcing run, delivered the pass. There's Craig Mitchell out of the bin, and Wales onto the scoreboard. Changes for England in the front row. Sheridan's gone off. Andrew Sheridan has gone off. David Wilson comes into the front row. Bradley Davis. Stephen Jones. Oh, great tackle, Tom Palmer on Dan Lydiot. Falls carried in. Stephen Jones. Straight down the middle of the field, but here comes Foden. Another kick down the middle. Hook underneath it. Picks it well. Hands out! Push! Shane Williams. Oh, the offload scraped up off the floor. Well, oh. England couldn't take advantage of the ball was temporarily available. But they are deep in Welsh territory. Stand! Again, Stephen Jones just into the England half. The double try scorer, Chris Ashton. Oh, Tom Wood. The crowd reckon it was forward. Knock on. Wales will have the put in for the knock on rather than the pass that the crowd thought was forward. Lost forward. Here we are. The crowd insisted was forward. It's gone. I don't think it was. The pans went backwards. It came from in front of him. That didn't make any difference. And moreover, the uh, assistant referee. That's hell of a. Hell of a. Hell of a drive. But say again. Time off, please. Seven. Seven. Substitution. Seven. James Haskell is going off for England. 
There has been plenty of good rugby here in Cardiff and there is bound to be more to come. Italy start their campaign tomorrow in Rome against Ireland. And France, the Grand Slam champions, the defending title holders against Scotland in Paris. Joe Worsley comes on for the final quarter, more or less. Well, I think James Haskell uh, did a job for England in a position with which he is not familiar. The replacement, Joe Worsley, is more familiar with this, but as a stopper, is that Ben Young's going off? Or is he just... Ben Young's is going off and Danny Kerr is coming on. Well, um, I'd remain... Well, I'd, I'd like to hear the reasoning behind that because Kerr is he's not a controlling scrum half, Kerr is a running one. It's obviously Time something preordained after the hour, on the hour, start making the changes. But uh, well, at least it's given you know, nearly 20, nearly 20 minutes. We, some of the substitutions before have been at you know given players at 11, 12, 13, which is never going to be on. Ryan Jones is about five yards offside there. Cueto came into midfield, but. Jamie Roberts, you might say, read it. <laughs> Referee's arm is out. Um, it's a hand in the ruck again. It's it's costing Wales. The player in blue is an England player. In Time white. Off, please. Those hands in Two the England players down. Three England players down. It has been a brutal contest. That's Tom Wood, the newcomer. David Wilson is down. You all right? Can it's you see who the man in blue okay, is? Fine. Brian. He's Alan oh, Toby Flood. Toby Flood. I don't know whether that will affect his uh, decision to kick or not. Whether he thinks he's got the distance. Of course, the replacement for Toby Flood would be one Johnny Wilkinson. Well, you'd be right on the edge of the... Uh, let's have a look at what happened here. Oh. You have to be careful if you pick somebody up. You do, actually, and he's got another whack there. I don't think that was uh, think on the back right. of the head. We, we, we got a whack, there wasn't uh, anything in it, but... Andy. Well, if Wales are going to get back in this game at 23-16, uh, at then they're going to have their big players to, okay. to step up to the game. Mike Phillips is one of their big players. Look at this pass. Where it goes in front of them. This is almost the next one straight after. Goes to ground. He's lost all confidence because the next time he runs with it. But he, there's, there's nobody there. He tries to offload it and it goes down. And here again, he does a bit of both. He runs and then he tries to offload it. It goes to the ground. If Wales are going to get back in this game, they need their big players. Time back on, please, Jim. The bruised Toby Flood has eyed the touchline around the post. That's a good That's kick. That's a good kick, yes it is. Deep into the Welsh 22. Now if history uh, is repeated and England uh, show their ability, their clinical ability to score from opportunities, they will go and extend the lead here. Dylan Hartley yet again finds Tom Palmer. Tom Palmer has had an excellent game for England. And his work may not be done yet. It's Tom Wood who's controlling the back of the mall. The heavyweights go first. Oh, Wales, good counter wrecking by Wales. They've, they've got it back. Has it gone the other way? No. Well, there, red ball. Well done, the Welsh forwards. That's the England forwards having the heads in the air. Mike Phillips to Mark Cueto. Foden inside him. Cueto goes on his own. That's a good tackle by Alan Wynne Jones, the Welsh second row. Hands, hands, hands. Danny Kerr. The replacement scrum half weights. Stephen Jones has a little spat with David Wilson. Harpe, again, the call for the forward pass, and this time the referee awards it. 
Well, that was called by the uh, assistant referee just below us. An unforced error. Just a bit of sloppiness. Simon McDowell of Ireland, the touch stay judge. Stay down. Try yep. and stay down. Well, marginal, okay, but yes, definitely. He was right. Ball coming up with the pressure's coming on. Is it hard? Uh, can you lip read? I can't. Touch! Pause! Yes! Penalty to Wales at the scrummage against David Wilson. What sort of reception will this man get? This man, yeah, Johnny Wilkinson, warming up. Meanwhile, Wales prepare for a line-out in English territory. They haven't been down here much in set-piece play, but a broken field running. They've had two really patient build-ups. Toby Flood Is there a red goes well? off. Immaculate kicking record played really well, Toby Flood. <laughs> Just wanted to hear how Johnny was welcome to Cardiff. Well, anyone who's booing him, it, that's pathetic. If you don't, just keep quiet and at least have a little bit of respect for someone who has achieved a lot. What? Don't have to cheer him, but booing. Get him on now. Pathetic. Get him on now. Come on. We're making it now. Come on. All right. We're just now. hesitating. Well, Alan Roland. Stephen Jones is off. It's the, it's the move a lot of people wanted. Lieber comes on to fullback. James Hook goes up to number 10. So changes all round. Johnny Wilkinson back in the number 10 shirt for England. Well, he's not in the number 10 shirt. He's he's wearing 21, but he's playing in the number 10 position. Possession for Wales. Morgan Stoddart. It's there for Phillips. Now we need some accurate passing from Wales. Matthew Rees takes the contact of Wilkinson. Phillips. Aims at Wilkinson who dumps him. Well, you're never going to run through Johnny Wilkinson. Craig Mitchell. Wales haven't got much width behind these forwards. They're going to keep going this way. Bradley Davis, who's been perhaps their best ball carrier. Here's Sam Warburton. Tackled by Tom Wood. Hands out! Now there's a bit more shape to the Welsh three-quarter line. James Hook. Chips it on to Shane Williams, stops, goes. First touch for Lee Byrne. Still lateral though, isn't it? At one time Wales straightened it, they made use of the overlap, but not here. This is Craig Mitchell. Tuck that way! It's there for Phillips, the switch to Shane Williams. Tries to duck under Dylan Hartley. Forwards take it on. Shane Williams stays down for the moment. Hands out! Penalty against Happy. This is Dan Lydiot. They go back for the penalty. Well, that's two penalties England have given away when backs have been involved in and around breakdowns. I think there ought to be a rule. They're not allowed to be, other than the tackling. Shantan Happe gives away the penalty for this. Now, whether or not you think that's out, the fact is, it's so marginal that you should just leave it and defend. Especially when... Here's the captain, Mike Tindall, no doubt. One second here. Laying down the law. Which one? <laughs> behind him. Both. That's well. That's Warren Gatlin. Not behind him. Way up in the stands. But James Hook, the kicker, is preparing by sitting down, lying down. 
the cramp for the kicker. That's not a, that's not a good start. Jim, give me a time check, please. Manager of the uh, Welsh football team, Gary Speed. At the Millennium Stadium, we've had three tries. The first made by Toby Flood, scored by Chris Ashton. The second scored by Chris Ashton. And Jonathan Davis to Morgan Stoddart, Wales back in the game. But England still in the lead. Okay, but back on now. if this Thanks. kick goes over as it should, then we're down at any sort of try for Wales. Takes them into a, a lead. And if England go, if Wales want to do this, okay, right, England will have to look at themselves quite severely because they had a lead which should have been, which, you know, which may well be held, but which should be. 23 9 they led. Yep. And now, it is 23-19. Well, we are set for a heck of a, and the last 10 minutes, are we not? Nearly up to 70 minutes, 10 minutes to go here at the Millennium Stadium, and England wheel on. More replacements, or are they? Will they have time? The crowd noise is going up. Trying to lift Wales to a last effort. Johnny Wilkinson will wait until the replacements are made. Steve Thompson comes on to replace Dylan Hartley. Well, he was mocked before the game, Dylan Hartley, but he's responded with an excellent performance. Simon Shaw is on into the second row, and Wales too have made changes. Dan Lydiot goes off. And Mike Phillips goes off, Dwayne Peel on at scrum half and Jonathan Thomas into the back row for Wales there's Richard Hibbard the hooker replacement not yet on Ryan Jones wants to keep the ball in field does so first touch for Dwayne Peel has to go in for it oh you can immediately see the impact that big men like Shaw and Thompson have made. Carried back inside. Carry back inside. kicks, but it was carried, carried back inside. on. It's been handed on a plate to England. This line out, not here, but way to the left. Okay. Two. Yeah, but you know Different. the reason. Different. The reason it comes He's round. Over as captain, please, you know. Right, well, yeah. Number eight. 15. There you are. Oh, hello. Two hands. Shall we dance? <laughs> okay, <hang on. laughs> wait, wait. Who else? Anyway, let's back to very serious Three, stuff. The, the, the introduction of Thompson, uh, Wilkinson, Worsley, and Shaw suggests that England are going to power the way and keep the ball for the last uh, 10 minutes if they can. Craig Mitchell goes off from the front row. John Yap okay, comes on for the Final second phase. time. But Wales very much on defensive duty. Tom Palmer soars for England and inevitably on comes the attempt at the driving mall Simon Shaw has the ball at the back he's just about attached and England march on and England march on a metre short, two metres short maybe, and still they come, one metre short now. Well, they should just keep hold of the ball here, get it to the back and there's start again. No, get him off the floor, the get up, get up. Tom Wood, the newcomer, hovers over the ball. Dan Cole has it. That ball needs to go one back from there. You don't drive with the ball right at the front, you drive it with it one back. Push back on the line. Wilson has a go. This would be the try that maybe sealed the game. Push back! You need to pick this up, set it one back. 
not there, it needs to go back one. England still within a couple of metres. No sign yet of anybody having this ball, but the big forwards on they come again. No need to, just keep Joe it here. Worsley. And Wales try and counter up again. Simon Shaw. This is where Wales have to play. The Easter hovers. Still again, you've got to get that ball one back. That's a deficiency. That's a fault in the England forward technique. John Yap tries to disrupt the England build-up. Well, the Welsh are doing very sterling work here because this is it saps your energy. It really does. David Wilson again solo penalty to Wales. Sound defensive work. Well done, the Welsh forwards. Well, Martin, you and Leicester never did it that way, and neither should England. That ball has got to go to the man behind of the screen. As soon as you get isolated like that, you're going to have trouble. And indeed they did. Simon Shaw's off his feet. Brave, brave by Wales. But they're still in their own territory. The lines are cleared. An important line out now. Steve Thompson will have to watch his opposite number. The Welsh captain... In fact, the Welsh captain has departed. Here's Richard Hibbard of the Ospreys. Had a very good season, Richard Hibbard. Alan Wynne Jones delivers to Dwayne Peel. Shane Williams, Bradley Davis. James Hook, Ryan Jones. Hands out! Peel. Jonathan Davis, Lee Byrne. Hands out, White! Hands out, Red Hands! Penalty to England. Lee Byrne not releasing. That may, well, that may well be it. If this goes over, you can't, can you see Wales scoring a converted try? And then Shot. more Shot signals. in five minutes. I don't think I can't. Jonathan Davis can only look back as Johnny Wilkinson does what he's done so many times, prepares to kick the ball between the posts. If you had to put your life on a man to kick this, okay, Jen, five minutes, he'd be you. in the top one. than five minutes to play. Wales need a converted try to draw. Well, Eddie, however this game turns out, it's been a thrilling game. It's been a great game to watch. It's been a great atmosphere. It's a great advertisement for the Six Nations. Danny Kerr. Oh, to Steve Thompson, the old turn of speed. Mark Quito. Wilkinson to Happy. Tackled by Jonathan Davis. Did well to present the ball though. Play on, play on, play on. Play on, said the referee. Steve Thompson did. It's a line out. Play on there as well. We're going back to the formal line out. Well, I don't know why he wasn't allowed to do that because there wasn't a line out set. He can take it anywhere, you know, <laughs> towards his own line. Bum. 
<laughs> oh, he actually hit, hit his own man, didn't he? That's why Steve Thompson didn't understand straight away that he could play it. But it was an inadvertent thing. Jonathan Thomas. Oh, that's poor. It's gone backwards. Richard Hibbard, the replacement hooker. Hans Harris White! Paul James. Sam Warburton. Ball's gone a bit loose. Dwayne Peel gets it away. Stoddart. Off loads to Ryan Jones. And to John Yap. Bradley Davis. Alan Wynne Jones. Ryan Jones. Wales need seven points to tie the scores. Peel now to the three quarters. Hook. Jonathan Davis. Lee Byrne in from fullback. Peel to Alan Wynne Jones lying flat. Hands out! Push. Okay, as long as the ball is recycled, and it is. Shane Williams, Mike Tick Tyndall anticipated the delivery. Push away! Wales still in possession, Mike just. Hibbard. Hands out wide! Hook. Whoops. That's a very good tackle by Johnny Wilkinson, and it leads to disruption in the Welsh ranks. Penalty to England, and it was the Wilkinson tackle that yep. set that up. Well, there, you just showed a, there was just a, a cut there. There, there is my obvious Six Nations man of the match, even though he's not on the field. You don't have to be, he has been a seminal influence, a guiding influence for what is going to be an England victory. Well done, Toby Flood. Martin Johnson, it looks as if the campaign is going to be off to a winning start for England. They now have three games at Twickenham. And I don't think, Eddie, you can underestimate uh, the... Not, not the... I don't mean that it's an impossible challenge, but it's a difficult opener to come to, 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 to Cardiff. You know, when, when they, the Welsh really back with the wall, they've had a... They've thrown everything out and the crowds tried to help and England yet have been the more clinical and they're going to come away with a victory and a way victory which can a lot for a lot of the Six Nations less than a minute to go Wales pinch a line out Dwayne Peel to Morgan Stoddart Wilkinson again with a tackle Wales still in possession oops Jamie Roberts slips presents though for Peel John Yap Alan Wynne Jones slightly towards the touchline. We're nearly into overtime. Jonathan Thomas. Now then, Wales might have worked the overlap. Shane Williams. That was forward. Jamie Roberts. Hands out, to Rock. Hands out. Okay, my time. Morgan Stoddart delivers to Hook. Well, the eight minutes is up, so the next uh, time it breaks down for any reason, other than a penalty, obviously, that will be it. Reset! Still left for Wales. John Yap. Push, push! Dwayne Peel has been collared. That'll be it. That's England it. will just get rid of this ball, and it'll be... An excellent opening victory away from home for England. Danny Kerr waits. Mick Easter delivers to him. Kerr left-footed, out of play. Whistle goes, and Martin Johnson's England are off and running in the 2011 Six Nations. They have won in Cardiff, and Dylan Hartley and Mike Tindall and all the players have survived the cauldron of fire in Cardiff and record a victory Wales 19 England 26 very easy more clinical more direct more points and a good day
Chris Ashton's day. Two tries for England as they kick off their RBS Six Nations campaign with a win 26-19 over Wales. Two tries to one in the end. Ashton with the couple, uh, one in each half. Stoddart with the sole try for Wales. Flood, terrific for England. Wilkinson with the sealer at the end. And Jones and Hook sharing the kicking duties for Wales. In the end, pretty dominant display by England. The score, only seven points the margin, but deep down Gordon Bray, Matthew Burke, they never looked like they were going to lose it. I think the, the England forwards uh, out-muscled the Welsh. Uh, their driving more was very effective. It led to their try, and also it led to that, that last penalty goal, which really sealed the issue. But the turning point of the game was five minutes into the second half, the sin binning, Mitchell, scrum infringement, off the field for 10 minutes, game over for me. I've got to say, Burke, if this is uh, a precursor to the rest of the Six Nations, we're going to be in for some entertaining rugby. Game mm. one, you'd expect a lot of errors. There were some, but there was some entertaining footy. It was indeed, uh, Rusty. I think the, the best part about it was that, uh, that the, the controlling tens, and you could, you could see the difference between England and Wales. Uh, Flood and Wilkinson, when they had their chance, controlled it well. Hook, Jones, not too much. But the way they played, the style they played, it was entertaining. So if we can replicate the, the next couple of games in the same fashion, we're pretty happy. Gordon, this is the uh, fifth minute. You've just mentioned the sin binning of the Welsh player, followed by uh, the rolling ball. They probably had four or five chances to score a try in this particular phase, but in the end it was just a wide ball that got them the points. Yes, well, it was well constructed, a very good build-up, and in contrast, the Welsh weren't able to get anything going with the driving more, but it was a simple through the hands, the overlap was there and Ashton getting his second try, but Wales for me were far too predictable in attack and way too flat in their attacking alignment and they were easy pickings for the, the England side and I think Gatlin made a big mistake taking off Mike Phillips, the scrum half, when he did in the second half. Well, there was some uh, serious changes at the one hour mark, but this was uh, the crucial part. They looked gone, down and out, but Wales, they bounced back shortly after, only four or five minutes later, Berkey, they got their try. Well, great, great ball here, outside line from uh, Jonathan Davies there, Harpe got caught out. Um, oh. <laughs> if you want to learn how to finish, look at the bloke when you're passing to him, it makes it a little bit easier, but Stoddart, uh, rewarded for, for doing some good things well, I think, in the months of the game here, and, and what we saw about the English defence was, was that's probably the, the, one of the few times that they, they broke their line, as in one of the guys came out in front, and, and look, not a clinical finish, but it certainly gave Wales a little bit of hope. They're playing catch-up, and that's why they threw the ball around, and we know they, they do have that. They should have scored here, England, the defensive effort from Wales, Gordon. It was fantastic. I, I'm at full marks to the Welsh side. I think they played really well in the second half. They did show a lot of patience with the ball and a lot of tenacity, but in the end, it was the, I guess, the patience of the England forwards and their, and their, their power in that rolling ball, which was a big factor and very energy sapping for the Welsh side. Do you know what, Rusty, in this situation here, I've said it so many times, as a back, you just say, give me the ball. It's white line fever. And at the end of it, you see Martin Johnson, we might catch a bit of the footage here. Davy Wilson goes wide, gets caught out, isolated, and penalty to Wales. And look, there was a, still a, a, a glimpse of something for Wales at well, the end there. They were four points behind. That was a turning point if they'd managed to convert it. Very shortly after, they had their own not releasing the ball penalty. Wilkinson converts, mm. and it's game over. Plenty more RBS Six Nations to come here on ESPN as we continue our live and exclusive coverage. Italy and Ireland. 1 a.m. Australian Eastern Time, 3 a.m. New Zealand Time. The Irish two strong boys. Yeah, I think Ireland, uh, although they've been decimated by injuries, it is a big danger game for them, though, against the Italians, who will be backing themselves here. I'll chase Italy on this one. Yeah. I think it just might be, might be something over in, uh, in Italy as well. OK, France and Scotland. Scotland haven't won there for 11 years. Gordon, any hope this time around? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> you don't know with the Welsh. As, the, as Lee Vermont, the coach, says, I'm never sure which team is going to turn up on the bus. OK, that'll do it for us here on ESPN's live coverage of the RBS Six Nations. We'll see you for Game 2 tomorrow morning. It's Italy taking on Scotland.